This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Thursday means it's Fishbowl Thursday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and today we are talking about a combo that has been requested a lot of times, but somehow we have never played it. This is True Fire Star Combo, True Fire Captain, Star of Extinction, and this one comes to us from Epic Walrus 417. So thank you so much to Epic Epic Walrus 417 for setting in a really cool looking deck. A quick reminder before we break down True Fire Star combo for standard. If you enjoy this deck and you'd like your own deck considered for a future Fishbowl Thursday, make sure to leave a link in the comments or you can email me, saffronolive at mtggoldfish.com. Anyway, let's talk some True Fire Star combo for standard. So True Fire Star combo is looking to do exactly one thing, and that involves a two-card combo. Combo piece number one is True Fire Captain. So True Fire Captain, it's got a bunch of text, it mentors, etc, etc. You get a 4-3 for 4, which isn't horrible. The big deal is, when True Fire Captain is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target players. So what we're trying to do with this deck is get down a True Fire Captain, and then resolve a Star of Extinction. So, Star of Extinction deals 20 damage to everything. All creatures, all planes, walkers everything includes our true fire captain which means when star of extinction resolves and deals 20 damage to true fire captain we get to basically throw that 20 damage at our opponent's face and just kill them on the spot from 20 so that is what our deck is trying to do our only other like pseudo combo piece is a sure assemble which is basically a way to try to protect our true fire captain with the assure side putting a counter on it and giving it indestructible until end of turn so make sure it survives combat make sure it survives some removal spells that could possibly kill it because that is one of the big flaws with this combo is we only have four true fire captains and uh, true fire captains tend to die to removal spells and if we get our true fire captain killed our star of extinction true fire combo just doesn't really work out so a sure helps to protect it can also make some tokens if we need it to karn cyan aversa and jaya ballard keep us digging through our deck to find our combo pieces find Find our True Fire, find our Star of Extinction. Uh, Jaya Ballard can also add some mana for our Star of Extinction, which is nice. It's a little bit awkward that these Planeswalkers do die to our own Star of Extinction, but if we're killing our opponent with our combo, we don't really care that our Planeswalkers are going to end up dead. Speaking of digging through our deck, we also have Treasure Map, Azur's Gateway, and the Immortal Sun, which gives us a ton of card draw. So even if our first True Fire Captain dies, the odds are not too bad that we're going to find another one in a fairly timely manner. So Treasure Map just scries in the early game, draws cards after it flips, also ramps us with a land. Azur's Gateway, if we manage to flip it, and we do have a lot of random mana costs, so it is possible in this deck, then we have a land that taps for a lot of mana, and Immortal Sun makes our Star of Extinction a little bit cheaper, pumps our True Fire Captain, although, again, a little awkward with our Planeswalker, since it shuts them down completely. So Karn and Jaya, not really a combo with the Immortal Sun. Other Otherwise, we get a few more threats in the deck. So our backup plan, if we're not winning with the combo, we can win with card structs. We can also just kind of go token-y beatdown with Legion Warboss making a bunch of goblins, getting in some damage, History of Benalia making some knights. History is also good at kind of stabilizing in the early game while we're waiting to get enough mana to cast Star of Extinction. And then one Dire Fleet Daredevil. I like Dire Fleet Daredevil. I'm not sure the exact purpose to play one of them. Uh, it's very good in this format where most most decks have some sort of spells, and Dire Fleet can come down in the early game as a blocker. In the late game, you can nab some pretty powerful spells from your opponent's graveyard. Otherwise, our deck is just overloaded with removal. Shocks, lightning strikes, lava coil, seal away, give us a ton of early game targeted removal, and then settle the wreckage in Cleansing Nova, join up with Star of Extinction to give us just a ton of sweepers. Mana base wise, we get a bunch of Boros dual lands, some basic lands, and the sideboard to Kotli Honor Guard comes in to shut down Golgarian specific, also can hit Mono Red a little bit, anything with Enter the Battlefield triggers, a bunch of options for customizing removal, seal away for the early 
early game. Deafening Clarion, Star of Extinction, more sweepers. Banefire, really good against control since it's uncounterable. Another Azur's Gateway and a Jaya for more repeatable card advantage against control decks. Lyra comes in primarily against aggro decks, giving us a huge lifelinking flyer. History can be good against both control and aggro, but I think in this deck, it's mostly to put some blockers on the battlefield against aggro. And that is True Fire Star Combo from Epic Walrus 417. And that's been our Fishbowl Thursday instant deck deck for this week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.